What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be the May 2021 mid-month mail drop. We have a lot to unbox and unpack today, so go ahead and stick around for that. In the meantime, before we begin, as always, help support the channel, hit that red subscribe button, thumbs up the video, and without further ado, let's go. Alrighty, ladies and gents, let's get right into it. We have a whole bunch of things to unpack today. All right, let's go ahead and get our handy dandy blade. Safety first, right? Oh, this plate is looking dull. <laughs> All right, so we will start off with the envelopes first. I did pick up a few single trading cards to complete my set here. Okay, I got this one, but. All right. Looking good. Ooh. Let's put that off to the side here. Let's give this a little snippity snip. I think my blade is dull. Uh oh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, this is cool. All right. So this is the uh, Heroes Reborn. Um, the Mark Bagley cover, but they made it into trading cards. Okay. So there it is. This is a uh, very reminiscent of the uh, 1993. Marvel Universe Series 4 set where they had like that nine um, connecting cards. Okay, so this is still sealed. Let's go ahead and unseal this. It's gonna be a short, short, short thing here. All right, let's not damage the cards. Very, very cool. Okay, let's put the knife on the side here. So we got Hyperion. All right, this is how the back of the cards look like. Yeah, looks exactly like how they did the uh, the uh, Marvel Universe Series Four. All right, so you got that Super Villain Thor. Okay, the quality is not as good though. Look at look at the edges off of these things. Yeah. Oh, they don't line up properly either. Doesn't look like um lines up nicely i think that's supposed to be like right down there yeah that's fine I find this cool you got blade i think that goes right there that should connect all right you got mephisto it's supposed to be right around there. You got Power Princess. Right there. You got Nighthawk. It's supposed to connect right there. You got Super Villain Captain America. Right down there. And the Blur. So that is how it's supposed to look like once it's all connected. Now the uh, current release in May, they, they have these in the comic book cover forms. So I will be getting a whole bunch of those, um, probably collecting just the comic book covers because it looks pretty cool. And this is the last card here. So this is basically what the Heroes Reborn storyline is. If you guys want to have a little uh, read over that. All right, that looks cool. I'm supposed to be getting two of these. I only got one. Cause I do plan to just store one and see what the value is later on. All right, let's put these off to the side. That's a very cool start. All right, next. Let's go ahead and open up this side. All right. All right, cool. We got Silver Surfer. The guy boxed it up pretty well too. 
This is for the Gold Blaster set. Let's take out some of this trash. Put you off to the side. Alright, I am on my way to completing this card. I think this is how the current cards look like. So, really, no, never mind. This might just be stacks of just uh, cardboard. So this is the uh, gold, the gold blaster. Oh yeah, I didn't pay fifty dollars for this. <laughs> I paid way on under value for this one. So this is the uh, gold blaster silver surfer. That looks pretty cool. Put you off to the side. All right. Okay, Doki. That is up here. Uh, I don't think I got. Okay. This is the Cyclops Gold Blaster. What is this thing back here? Okay, that just might be just to keep you. Uh, let's see it. They include a, a little bonus there. Yeah, Cyclops Gold Blaster. That's pretty cool. I'm on my way to completing that Gold Blaster set, which I am pretty excited about. We have a couple more envelopes here. Just want to make sure that I don't get the the card. Let's swipe it. Oops. Swipe it. Swipe it here. Did this guy send me a, hot, a happy holiday card? It looks like he did. Wait, what is this? <laughs> send me a happy holidays card. But here we got we got Gambit. This one was, believe it or not, Gambit is, on the eBay market is a really hard find. Look, you can see my camera right back there. Gambit was hard to find for a good price. I might put that and you know what there's not too many listings as well but you know what merry early christmas cool thank you we got another one here all right so this one has three For one dollar each. I wish I paid a dollar each for these. It wasn't a dollar each. All right, we got the Hulk and Captain America. Yep, it's the back of the cards. I will put these into nine pockets. I think that's it. Put these in protective sleeves. Yep. Almost there. Oop. Okay, I don't know what this is. Why the package is so big. This from New York. Okay. Be really careful not to whatever is inside. I'm not too sure which which card this is. Alright, that's that's oh okay cool. You got Iron Man and War Machine. I did get these at a pretty good value, which I like. That's the back of the card there. So now we are almost there. I think I'm missing. I think I'm missing Wolverine because that guy is uh, ridiculously expensive to find. I'm trying to wait for some good prices to show up. Let's see if there's any more envelopes. All right, that is it for the envelopes. Next up, we got probably some comic books here. I 
which is cool because I am running out of things to read. I have gone through the Onslaught series. I did read uh, the X-Men Legends. Okay, how do I get this without damaging the goods? So we're just trying to rip. All right. Okay. Oops. Didn't mean to hit the camera there. Okay, let's see what we got here. This looks to be... Oh! So this is the X-Men Red series. Which I am pretty stoked to try and uh, read. X-Men Red. X-Men Red number two. X-Men Red number one. So we packed it back to back, which means I'm gonna have to repack it. That's X-Men Red number four. Sure, we can actually get that in frame. Got X-23, which is pretty cool cover. Got Namor, that's a pretty cool cover as well. Well, he didn't pack everything into back to backs. So maybe he ran out of boards. But this, these uh, look pretty big for the current comic that's in there. Probably the Silver Age ones. Number eight, we got X Men Red. Oh, um, I don't know what this one is. This might be the back of the um, the back of the comic. Probably number nine. That's pretty cool. All right, so we got some X Men Red to read through this month. Um, that wasn't the complete run, so I did order the extras that came from somewhere else. And what do we got on this one here? Ooh. Okay. Alright, cool. Very safe packaging here. Okay, so this is from Gmart Comics. This is my comic book subscription. Uh -huh. Alright, let's get these things in nicely. Okay. One side down, two sides down. Mm -mm. Alright, there we go. Okay. Uh-oh. This thing's got stuck to the... Uh... That's not cool. Alright, let's put the uh, trash on the side. Let's see what we got here. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, close it back in front. Okay. Alright, this must be my invoice. Alright, cool. Amazing Spider-Man. Number 63. This is cool. That's Spider-Man's new suit. And they did put these inside in the uh, Mylar bags, which is pretty cool. Alright. Got those. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 62. See, he's got the new costume there as well. Yep. Amazing Spider-Man number 61. This is where he actually gets the new costume, which is... That's a cool looking one here. Yep. All right, next we got X-Men. X-Men number 19. And what happened here? Okay, okay. Extra packaging on top of the packaging. G-Mart, you're doing phenomenal. 
And this is X Men Legends number two. Fabian Nassiza, Guru EFX. X Men number 19. Very, very cool. All right. Lots of reading material for me this month, which I will probably blow through in the next couple weeks. But that's not it. We got more comic books here. Don't worry, we'll get to the trading cards at the very end because uh, it is a very special. So stick around till till the end. Okay, so let's get this here. All right. Let's put this one off to the side. All right, cool. King Black number one. This is a pretty thick book. Look at this artwork here. This is Gwenom versus Carnage. This is the uh, Jiang Lee cover. Oh, you know what? I'll do it right after this in here. Very, very cool. All right, so this is the rest of the X-Men Red, number 10. Look at Jean Grey there. Yep. And number 11. I believe there's also an annual, the X-Men annual. Okay, you might have seen from my set piece, but I did also pick up Women of Marvel number one. I think this, you know what? I did get the, uh, I did get the uh, regular cover, but this was a cover that I needed to get because this is a uh, Scarlet Witch, which is also one of my favorite characters in the Marvel universe, along with Psylocke. But look at the artwork. This, she looks phenomenal in this one. Look at that. This is by uh, Ji Young Lee. If you see some of uh, their artwork. Now I'm not too sure if that's a guy or a girl. Uh, but they do phenomenal work. If you go on their Instagram page and you see some of their um, their artwork. It looks really, really, really nice. Yeah. So this is one which I will be keeping as my little show centerpiece there. Alright. And... We have, I believe this is the last comic book to unbox here. Cool. Yikes. Okay. Well. Sorry. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh no. A lot of taping going on there. Trying to make sure that the comic books stay secure. Alright. Let's try and rip this part open from the front. I did see my address right there on the front, which is why I had to turn this one over. So, I do want to open this without exposing that front area. Okay. A oh, black paper bag. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's put you off to the side. Just put the blade off to the side here. X Men Legends number three. So, this completes my. My little puzzle piece there. This looks pretty cool. And Women of Marvel. This one is the uh, Momoko variant. Very, very cool. Once again, Scarlet Witch. Of course, I have to go go get that cover. And Berserker number two. I read Berserker number one. It was amazing. Um, a lot of um, not too much dialogue. But the story is definitely definitely interesting. But yep, this is a series I will be continuing to read. I will be continuing to read. Sorry. There it is. That's the cover right there. Alright, so that's all the books that we got for the month. Now 
on with the trading cards. I got this one right here. All right, this box came in, it's been sitting for the past, since the last um, video. It came in the day after I filmed it, which is sad because I have another one which is coming in today, which I will have to put on the side because I don't wanna, I do want to share this with you guys. So I'll do put this on the side and just wait. It's not like it's gonna be doing anything in my nine pockets anyway. So, and this was something I really wanted to open, but it's been staring me in the face this entire time. But today is the day that we get to open this box because this is one which I find pretty, pretty cool. If I knew how to open this. Ooh. How the hell do you open this? I don't want to rip this. Okay, so we have one more. <laughs> uh, all right, is that it? Is there still something holding it in? Okay, no, there isn't. All right. This is the Marvel anime set. This is the base set. This is by Peach Momoko. And I think these cards look amazing. Look at that. This is from Upper Deck. This is... I don't know how much is in the base set here. I think there's only like 9... Yeah, this is 90 card base set. So it's not super big set. But I do like the artwork here. I do think it's very different. Very amazing. You know. Marvel and anime. Two things which I do like. This is... See, Moon Knight. That's cool. Kitty Pride's on the back. You know what? Let's 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 have a little sneak peeky before I actually put this up on the channel. And uh, you know, I do a review. And to be honest, I think this is gonna rank pretty high on my list because I think that this is something very innovative. I don't say innovative, innovative, but it is it is new. Ooh, the cardstock is pretty good. You got Wasp, Electra. You got dag you got Dagger there. Is there a card stuff? Yep. You got Cloak. This is cool. Big bad Thanos. Look at that. Oh look, they did they did Jean Grey justice. Look at that. It looks pretty nice. Alright, I don't want to give the whole thing away, but look at this. Even the card stock looks uh I'm not sure if that's even gonna focus. Card stock's a bit thicker. Than the uh, previous years i will put this back in the package later in the meantime let's put this off to the side and let's get this big bad boy here this is one that uh again has been sitting here staring me in the face This is one I'm actually pretty, pretty excited about. I turned it upside down. There we go. Shall we proceed? This is from Com C. Oh, a box within a box. Packing peanuts, not my favorite thing. No biggie. Let's put that off to the side. Okay, let's do it again. Let us. Oh. This is. This is from the Fleer Ultra. Oh. Yeah, the Fleer Ultra Spider-Man series. This is the uh, chase card set there. Look at this. I'm going to hold this because I don't have a set that uses the current card stock. This is, I believe this is a 75 point card stock. This is thick, but look at that. That, that looks pretty nice. Spider-Man, this is the, uh, this isn't the regular set. This is the, uh, 
the Marvel Metal set, the Marvel Metal Chase set. So again, even the Chase, um, even the Chase sets have parallel sets. They have this one. I believe there's an emerald, a ruby, um, a sapphire set. Um, those are a way, way more rare. Um, it's just the background here is just either in like a green color, a blue color, and a red color. So we got those right there. Let's have a pull at, I don't know, let's, let's do, do the back, so. Yep, look at that. That looks pretty cool. The artwork, eh, I wouldn't say it's on par with the 1995s, but I still think that this is cool. You got Madam Webb. That's pretty dope as well. It should be all 50 cards. If I come back on this video later on, and it's not all 50 cards, I will be pretty upset. Anti-Venom. <laughs> all right. Just a little bit for the sneak peek there. That looks cool. Look at how thick those, those cards are. All right. Oh, by the way, I do not own the actual base set for the uh, Fleer Ultra Spider-Man. I do plan to, maybe at a later point, but then that, um, that chase set went up and I got it for a pretty good deal. Okay, this is a big hefty boy and this is one I will feature on the channel, I believe pretty soon. Okay, this might be a box in a box. Yep, it is a box in a box. It might be in multiple boxes. Again, this is uh, coming from ComC. Wow, three boxes, okay. So there's three boxes that came with that set. Alrighty, let's have a peek. I'm pretty stoked. Ooh, where do we? Oh, this is packed in pretty, pretty tight. If you guys can guess, this is okay. Fleer Ultra X Men. This is the Marvel Metal Chase set, very similar to the uh, very similar to the Fleer Ultra Spider-Man, just in the X-Men form here. So you got M, you got Monet Saint Croix. This is yeah, this is one of the uh, Chase sets. Again, uh, I, th I think I said this in my first video. I do like shiny cards. All right, oh, and this is the. Uh, Fleer Ultra X-Men, the 2018 Fleer Ultra X-Men. That is, I am a big fan of the artwork for these cards. I do like how it looks. So this is the base set and the chase set, I believe. Let's have a look. Let's pull out one of these cards. Look, you got Jubilee, man. She looks great in this art right here. I don't know. I'm not a huge um, knowledge buff of the artists, but I think this looks amazing. Look at the artwork here. Yeah, that is how it looks like when it comes in from ComC. I did order this from an, another seller. Let's slide those in nicely. Okay. Okay, so I got base. There's a base set there and part of the chase set. Let's see what's in here. This might be the rest of the whatever is in the chase set. Yeah. So this is the rest of whatever is in the chase set there. You got Banshee. Yeah, this is cool. What else we got here? 
Ja, Phantom X. Very, very shiny cards. But, yeah, I like it. It looks cool. Right up my alley. Something I do dig. Alrighty. And let's take a look what's in this box. This might be more of the uh, whatever is in the base set. And they did pack these really, really tight. It doesn't seem like any of the cards are damaged, but it is hard to get through. All right, you got Cyber. Yeah, so the uh, framing for this looks exactly like the 1994 Fleer Ultra X-Men. Let's have a look at the back here. Yeah, so it looks exactly like how it did back in 94, except that the uh, cardstock is thick. 2C thick, if you get that reference. Thick, thick. We got Krakoa, the Living Island Krakoa. Yep, very, very cool. Very sturdy cards. Now, the bad thing about these cards, this card stock, is that the corners, I feel, are a little more prone to damage just because of how thick it is. But other than that, that is looking fantastic. That will probably go up on my channel, on my regular channel. Oh, regular channel. We share the same channel. I'll probably go up on the regular reviews. Uh, I, I would say pretty shortly. Well, we'll probably get through a nice X-Men run. It, it, it won't be months until we get through that. Other than that, that is all we have to unbox. We will head right back up. I will give you guys my final thoughts and which is my favorite pickup of um, of this month. Welcome back guys. All right, so that was our look at what we got in the uh, May 2021 mid-month mail drop. Now, uh, it is very hard to uh, just pick one favorite out of whatever we unbox this month. I mean, there is a lot to pick. Um, what would I say? You know what? This is probably my favorite comic book that I picked up. Um, maybe just for the artwork. Um, I do plan to read it. I, I don't know what the story is, but you know what? Just the artwork alone. I do like the Ji Hong Lee um, variants. Uh, huge fan of the cover art. Um, I do have one. Okay, so uh, I did order this one and the Virgin variant cover. And the variant, the, the the virgin variants, basically just this here without the um, without the lettering. It's just it's just the, the portrait by itself. Um, I did get that one, but the way how it was is that it was cut weirdly. So I did send it back for a return. Unfortunately, it didn't get back to me before I shot this video. Um, but yeah, that one looked. I mean it exactly the same as this it just doesn't have the women of marvel not number one on there it's just uh the picture of a scarlet witch which um which i dig i mean i do like how it is presented i mean yeah again i don't know what the story is but i will definitely be giving that one a read um so as far as comic books it's either this or berserker um i did enjoy berserker number one and i know berserker number two is not going to let me down either i do hear good things about it so I will be giving that one uh, a definite read. Now, um, trading cards. Uh, of course, probably goes. Uh, if you seen, if you can hear the excitement in my voice, it is uh, definitely the 2018 Fleer Ultra X Men set, which I did enjoy picking up. I mean, just I swear the. Uh, the artwork and the way how this is presented, I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I do plan, I mean, it, it will be up on the channel really soon, I believe, um, when I do the review on these cards because um, we are doing a run on the Flare Ultras, on the Flare Ultra X-Men's, and I do plan to end off with 
the 2018 Fleer Ultra X-Men. Um, hopefully by then, um, if it's already out, because I think it's been delayed a bunch of times, is the uh, the X-Men Metal Universe set. Um, I'm gonna wait until there is a a set available to buy, a base set to buy, um, because those boxes are really, really expensive. And with the way how the market is shifting right now, it, everything is just trending upwards. So it is, um, I'm gonna have to start saving up is basically what I'm, what I'm saying. Um, other than that, I mean, that is all I have. Um, next month, I mean, same thing. We maybe got a few books that'll be coming in. I don't know if it's gonna be just as lengthy as it was today because um, I did uh, purchase a whole bunch of comic books, which I do want want to read again. If you guys go back to my very first uh, video um, coming back, uh, this this channel is basically starting from scratch. So I, uh, as a collector, I'm just working with whatever I have, um, whichever trading cards I have. I mean, um, so I have a pretty substantial amount of sets, which I do plan to review. But as far as the comic books, uh, I don't have any from from when I started this video other than that yeah as always if you guys like what I'm doing here help support the channel go ahead and hit that red subscribe button comment right down below let me know what you guys think about uh, the pickups of the month other than that thumbs up the video I'll see you guys back on the next on the next one uh, this was that's probably gonna be the uh, June one hopefully we pick up some more great uh, trading card sets Maybe some, maybe some comic books. I don't know. There, there will definitely, definitely be comic books. Um, but the trading card market, I mean, it's, you know, like sooner or later, I'm, I'm gonna run out of things to buy from the trading card market. It's either that or the, uh, the prices are gonna be just astronomically high, where I'm not gonna have enough money, like, cause this is just, just a side hobby, which, which I do, so. I do save up money on the side and then and then I buy it. I mean, I'm not gonna give up my house for, you know, a 1996 Marvel Masterpieces, you know. As much as I do really want that set in my possession, I mean, I don't think uh, it's ever gonna happen. I mean, I did set goals. Uh, I did create a thumbnail for it. So maybe one day I'll, I'll, I'll get to use that thumbnail in my re reviews. But other than that, yeah, I'm, I'm just bab bab babbling on. Other than that, guys, uh, I'll catch you guys back on the next mid-month mail drop, uh, June, June 15th. So go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, watch all the reviews. And then until then, I'll see you guys back next time. Thank you guys so much for watching.